I want to assure the residents that this facility would now lead to many other developments in the community because this was the facility that was keeping the community back economically and from an infrastructure perspective because you couldn't get stuff in. Now we have this facility that is all weather, that stuff can come in and with the tarmac that we're going to build and with the agriculture uh, project that we're going to launch it is going to even grow the opportunities for the community. I want to assure you that the only benefit from good work is more work, and, uh, and more work will bring more reward. So it's with a, it is with a great sense of pride and honor that we celebrate this commissioning today. I, we, would have, we would have loved uh, Gary to be here physically, but of course he is here. Because the book tells us, all the good book tells us, that our works would live on. And it is our work that keeps us alive. So all of us can be kept alive for a long time. It depends on how you live your life, the contribution you make, the type of sacrifices you make. Gary Beaton was a master at making difficult things easy by providing ways and means of how it could be done and ensuring that there was no contention. This aerodrome is testament to the perseverance, resourcefulness, and the strength of collaboration. And I might want to say, one of the largest investments that have been made in Region 7 of recent times, 688.8 .8 million. It's a lasting tribute. As we dedicate this aerodrome to Brigadier Gary Beaton, remember that it's, it's more than an infrastructure upgrade. It is a reflection of his values, his dedication, and his vision. His mantra, always aim for excellence, will resonate with all who use this facility.